फर्स्ट वन इज टेम्परेचर डिपेंडेंट अंडर टेम्परेचर डिपेंडेंट वॉट इज द फर्स्ट वन परसेंटेज वॉल्यूम बाय वॉल्यूम फर्स्ट वन इज परसेंटेज वॉल्यूम बाय वॉल्यूम इन सोल्यूशन टॉपिक ऑलवेज रिमेम्बर दट न्यूमरेटर वैल्यू स्टैंड फॉर सोल्यूट न्यूमर ऑलवेज न्यूमरेटर स्टैंड फॉर सोल्यूट वेदर वॉल्यूम और वेट or mole fraction whatever it may be numerator stands for solute and denominator stands for solution only one exception is there that we will discuss later always we will compare solute with the solution so let's see what the formula for percentage of volume by volume volume of solute and we'll take this one in ml by volume of solution this is also in ml percentage of v by v that is equal to what is the formula for this volume of solute per ml by volume of solution what is it means in m in some ml of solution how much ml of solute is dissolved and that too in percentage we are calculating so we should multiply this one with 100 this is the first formula by looking at the formula we know that we will get the definition of these terms so always we should consider whether it is volume of solution or weight of solution we will uh, take this one as 100 ml volume of solution we will always take this one as 100 ml so this is about percentage volume by volume and formula is this one what is the second one percentage weight by volume the second one is percentage weight by volume nothing much is there for these things only formula and the definition but they we will use all these things all these formulas while doing our calculation part so what we meant by weight by volume percentage of weight by volume same thing here volumes we are taking but here we will take the weight weight of solute by volume of the solution always remember that the numerator stands for solute and the denominator stands for solution so the formula for this one is weight of solute instead of volume we are writing here weight of solute that is also in ml by volume of solution in ml sorry weight means we'll take this one in grams we'll take this one in grams into as we are doing percentage 100 into multiply with 100 weight of solute that is in grams by volume of solution in ml into 100 this is the formula for percentage of w by v means in how in how much ml if we are we are taking some ml of solution in that ml of particular ml of solution how much grams of solute is going to dissolve that is nothing but percentage of weight by volume this is another formula what is the third one and the important one in this one is molarity molarity we will use capital m to denote this molarity what is molarity number of moles of solute moles of solute present per liter volume of solution so here we used volume of solute here weight of solute next in the molarity case we'll use moles of solute moles of solute by uh, volume of solution and that to per liter 
so that is equal to n number of moles will the use with n will denote that one with n by vo volume in liter so molarity is equal to n by vl here volume of solute here weight of solute here moles of solute particular amount of solution how many moles of solute is dissolved that is molarity simply so how we will get uh, moles of solute moles mole value n equal to weight of solute by molar mass of molar mass of solute this we know n equal to weight by molar mass so simply substitute the value of n here so n value is w by m not vl so molarity is equal to w by m not vl so if weight of the solute is given volume is given molar mass we know the particular comp uh, solutes a particular compound then we will calculate the molarity very easily this is in terms of liters if at all volume is in ml then w m equal to w by weight of the solute by molar mass into v in ml by 1000 so it goes up to the numerator then w into 1000 by m not vl molarity is equal to weight of the solute into 1000 by molar mass of the solute into volume that is also in ml this is about molarity m we will denote that one with m see carefully m means molarity m not means molar mass see the difference between those uh, letters 